Hey, no one knows how to drive before 9 a.m. Hello. <laughs> Back at it again, starting the vlog in my hairdresser car park because I, well, actually, to be fair, I would have had time to, like, officially start the vlog at home this morning. But Stevie, I thought we were going to have a nice cuddle in bed. Unfortunately, he decided to peel in my bed. All right, so I had to, number one, plonk him back into the living room to, like, strip my bed and stuff because I was about to leave. I was like, I can't leave, like, a cat piss. <laughs> duvet um so like, i got to strip my essentially it was too much of a rush so i've got here i'm a little bit late but she said don't rush so i'm like taking advantage of the fact that she said that i'm gonna spend two minutes starting this vlog um, but i'm very excited about this vlog it's gonna be like a long ish one because i'm starting it at the beginning of the week i'm gonna post it at the end of the week so you guys have got like a long vlog to watch while i am away i'm pretty sure i am gonna vlog while i'm away you guys it's the holiday i've been talking about for the longest time um mexico uh, it's my friend Annie's. It's her 40th birthday. And I know you're probably thinking, like, what? I've known Annie for, like, the longest time. Met her through, uh, like, Benefit Cosmetics. Um, it's, like, me, Sarah, Cece, and then, like, loads of her friends. It's going to be so fun. Uh, like, it's not, like, a influencer trip or anything. It literally is my friend's birthday. So this, um... Yeah, I, this, I'm not sure how much I'll vlog, but I feel like I must vlog. It's going to be so fun. But basically, this week, I'm going to be prepping for it. So today is Monday, and I'm getting my hair done. I'm getting some brand new hair put in. I'm going to go, like, a little bit lighter, I think. Still keeping the length, though, because I've got used to it, and I absolutely love it. Um, twenty, We've got the 28-inch beauty, 28 inch beauty work extensions, but we do always end up trimming them a little bit. So I'll obviously keep you posted, um, you know, with, like, what's going in, etc., etc. A few beauty treatments this week week i thought um obviously i'm on the week up to holiday so gonna be smashing it at the gym again maybe some things like meeting it's gonna be an array of stuff beauty exercise food all the stuff that you kind of like take care of right before a trip so i really hope you guys love this vlog by the time this goes up i probably will be in mexico which is crazy i feel like i've been talking about it for so long and now it's finally here and i'm so excited so time to refresh this mop and have a little bit of a transformation this morning happy monday indeed we're getting um some face frames put back in this is always my base color we've got some chocolate um this time and one called Dubai, which basically um, looks like this, but I always love this wall. Look at all of the colours that they do. Like, even the balayage ones. Are we loving it? Uh, literally not a huge colour change but you know what I mean about the face frames and we've got a few like lighter shades through the front um, love a fresh hair day what a great start to the week right that's kind of like it today in terms of holiday prep uh, next thing is tomorrow and then on Wednesday fuck me we have a full day so yeah I'll see ya tomorrow when we're going to be sorting these out Need to find some holiday nail inspo. I don't want to be boring again. I might kind of do this, but maybe like neon. But then I just feel like it just doesn't go with outfits. But then, you know, who cares at the end of the day? Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. It's 10 to 9 in the morning. Um, and I'm off to get my nails done. I have been what why is it deciding holiday nails is just like a bit of a challenge do you know what i mean guys let's not stop here come on there's two lanes two lanes two lanes two lanes thank you no one knows how to drive before 9 a.m um yeah oh my god i look like a complete um bug anyways um like i said why is choosing holiday nails so like it's a challenge for me because i i it, sorry, how out of touch, Rachel, of just life. But you know what I'm saying. Um, because I'm normally such a, like, nude girl, like, pink, like, whatever. But I always see people with, like, fun, colourful nails. And I'm like, 
that looks really cool. So I'm thinking I'm gonna mix it up. I've seen um in the recent pictures, I'll like insert it here. Recent pictures promoting their new collection, like Kylie and Stassi, like whatever. Kylie Jenner's got like fluorescent yellow toes and nails. And I kind of think that looks good. That's Mexico vibes, right? Like, let's just get neon yellow nails. Fuck it. I can always get them off. I don't know why I think it's like such a commitment. I feel like that's my commitment issues in general, just like <laughs> uh, coming to surface. Anyway, so gonna get these changed. Let's get some tennis balls on our nails. I don't get my toes done here. I, I'm getting them done towards the end of the week because when I say I need like a fresh pedi, I have to like get it done the day before. Um, but yeah, it's just nails today, but it's gonna set the tone. I'm suddenly excited for bright nails. I mean, I am excited. I've got myself excited now. I got them! Oh my God. We did like, she painted one like a neon French tip and then one like full. And I was kind of leaning towards just getting the French tip. And then I thought to myself, no, I always get French tip and even Millie said that she was like Rachel you do always get a French tip I was like you know what I've never been to Mexico I, like I've never just had like neon nails and I'm gonna get matching just all neon yellow toes as well like inspo from that Kylie pick um so I just did it and I have to say I am low-key obsessed with them when I work out we're doing ropes for time like 30 seconds Walking lunges with 12.5 each side, 20, lift and press with RDLs for like 12. And then I said before, we incorporate mountain climbers into everything. And as much as I hate them, I feel like I'm really seeing a difference. So that's my first circuit of this full body workout. Guys, I'm sat of breath. I thought the first round was bad. We're doing like push down there, pull. So two pushes, two pulls devils which is where you like hold them jump down like into a plank lower yourself to the ground get back up and like swing them upwards I might get shot to record me doing one of them so you can see ball slams for 15 and then i do mountain climbers there like oh my god i'm gonna die today look at me uh one thing i love about shot is when i say you know i've got this goal don't let me give up. She does not let me give up. Um, so I kind of like explained what that workout was. And at the end of that circuit, um, we just end on some like abs. So we did 20 single leg planks. Whereas when you're in a plank position and you lift up a leg at a time, did that for 20 straight into a 40 second plank and then like 12 leg raises. Oh my God, look at me. Uh, fuck my swaying why do i look like swollen do i look swollen in the face here i think i'm just tired to be completely honest i woke up at like 7 a.m this morning um right we're now after tesco to do a mini food shop um yeah um i don't need to get too much because obviously i go away on friday i'm out on thursday i'm seeing harry styles on thursday Obviously, by the time this vlog goes up, you would have seen that I was at Harry Styles on Thursday. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm out for dinner then. Today's Tuesday. Hannah's coming around for dinner tonight. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of need something for lunch today. Lunch and dinner tomorrow. Although, I don't think I'm actually in, even here for dinner tomorrow. Because um, there's this new restaurant opening up by my building. And the residents have been invited to, like, an exclusive launch night. Um, and I'm going there at like nine. I'm getting my, my lashes done before. So it's probably just going to be, I just kind of need a lot of like snacky bits really. Um, so I'm going to be kind of mindful with what snacks that I get. So yeah, I will show you what I get from Tesco's when I'm back home. But fuck my, that was a good workout. Very good workout. As much as I hate it at the time, I feel very good about that. Right. Oh, I'm balancing like on. Guys, you can really see the nails like in full swing. Oh my God, I hope my glasses haven't been like that the whole time. That'd be embarrassing. Anyway, now you're all clucking, dying to know what I got from Tesco's. I just got a chicken 
Um, I got some strawberries that look like massive. They need to be like eaten today. I feel like it's such a nice day today. Like fruit is like what I really want to snack on anyway. So I was like, I'll get those. Got some pineapple. Again, really just trying to sort of snack on fruit. I know fruit's actually like carbs as well, but obviously I hate the term like better for you, but you know, there's, I know there's quite a lot of like sugar and stuff like in them, but I feel like it's better for you to eat like lots of fruit rather than like lots of bread right before a holiday. You know what I mean? So I tried to like get my snacks sort of it, that way. I never know really how to like phrase things. I don't want to like say anything wrong or offend anyone or... <laughs> I need to stop being a little bitch. That's why I need to stop being. Anyways, I got some um, like little cherry tomatoes because I've got some leftover chicken as well. I'm gonna chop up some of that as well. Some baby cucumbers. I really just want like like chopped cherry tomatoes, chopped cucumbers, chopped chicken, and like a couple of bits of like mozzarella. Like I really want like that as like lunch. Do you know what I mean? Um, I got like a salad bag. I really like these bags, and then I like split up the. Let me see what I got from Tesco as well. We'll give you, we'll do your lunch in a minute too. Guys, he's such a big boy these days. And also, should I say something that's really, <laughs> really sad, but like, um, it will be fine. We get, we had a traumatic day on Monday, didn't we? Didn't we? So first, no, actually it was more Sunday evening. So I was like tanning and I was using like a gradual, tanning moisturizer like type vibe just trying it out whatever um and i like dolloped it all over my body ready to rub in like while the dollops were still all over my body i hadn't realized that i'd left all of the doors open stevie runs like had the zoomies like into my leg and like chest first into like a dollop of this gradual tan i'm thinking Fuck. So like I try and like wipe it off him as such. But then he woke up. Look at this. A yellow kitty. And a yellow paw. And I was like, oh no, like, what should we do about that? But um and then on Monday morning, I was gonna be out. Um, not as long as I thought. I ended up being which was good to be fair but like a few hours getting my hair done obviously so obviously so made sure he had food water toys everywhere but in the morning i was like oh i want want to have some cuddles took him like into my room and onto my bed he was like lying down like a loaf like you know all feet and arms like underneath him but his tail was like up in the air and i was thinking is he about to like pounce or something because he does like to like bounce around on my bed he then got up he'd pissed all over the bed <laughs> all over my bed so we actually had a bit of a falling out on monday we left on bad terms because i was annoyed because it was like right before i was going to the hairdresser but i obviously had to like strip my bed and like wipe him down as well so i thought you know what he's like got this like gradual tan on him which i did wash off and he's now pissed on himself i know clap cats clean themselves and everything but sorry i was like i'm going to have to give him a wash when i get back so I went to Pets at Home and got some like cat shampoo. That was quite traumatic. He was like so good in a sense of, he wasn't scratching me like aggressively. But I had him in the sink and I was kind of like washing him. I didn't have like running water on him. I just had like, I filled the sink up with warm water to like wet his stomach. Cause I didn't need to wash all of him. It was just his underneath where he'd weed and like got the tan on himself. But bless him, he like, I forget he's like, he is quite tiny under all of this fur. And he just looked a bit like a drowned, <laughs> drowned rat. And I had to try and dry him off, which was the more traumatic thing. Because I was using my Dyson like on a low thing, but he was still pretty scared of it. Um, but yeah, you can see he's still, <laughs> he stained himself. You stained yourself, didn't you? But I'm hoping I've got like, obviously the majority of it off. What are you doing? How do you want to sit? I like have tried to wash him, but I'm hoping it will just fade like gradual tan does. And like he obviously does clean himself, licks himself, and their tongue is like quite abrasive. So I'm hoping it's just going to fade over time. But you're silly, aren't you? Yes. Silly. Oh, why are you 
you so sleepy? Oh, guys, look at him. I'll put you to bed, hang on. Anyways, let me just wash my hands before I continue. <laughs> anyway, so I got a salad bag. Love this one. Um, I can't, There's like a sachet of Caesar dressing in there, which I like split between the bag. Like, if I want some of that. I, I have so many packets of these croutons because I'm just not like eating them, but I save them for like something in the future. I don't know. Got some prawns as well. Um, some tender, some purple sprout and broccoli, which I just am obsessed with. And a small little bit of milk, because I'm about to run out of my milk, but I have like tea and coffee and stuff uh, all the time. So I don't want to get like a big full one that I normally get. So I just got a little, a little one. Um, yeah, that was my mini Tesco's thing. But um, I'll show you that little salad that I make for lunch because I am absolutely ravenous. And I've, I don't know why I'm craving it, but I really am just craving. Like it's kind of giving me like summer salad vibes. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to give it like a little mix up. You know, it's just like a balsamic glaze. I've actually added a little bit of like um, hot sauce to it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic pepper. We've just got cherry tomatoes, a bit of mozzarella, cucumber, chicken. Like, I don't know, this is really just what I was craving. Guys, we've got chilango, look. Helly. Why am I getting Mexican food before Mexico? Oh, it's not chicken, chicken though, is chicken. it? It's not chicken, it's chicken. Plant-based chicken. Why do I feel like these are like young know, people do that? Like, what's your Chipotle bowl order? What do you get? What did you get? Beef. Beef because of oh, oh, just oh, yeah. lift, lift it off the bin. It's fine. Um, yeah, I got beef because all I'm doing is eating chicken and veg at the moment. Beef, salsa, lettuce, coriander, rice, mild salsa. Didn't get any cheese. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Why are you gonna, mother of, I can't pick you up like this. Ah. Yeah. Hi, still yellow. Um, today is my busy day. I've already been to the doctors this morning, just to check her, um, and had a PT session, it was legs today. Um, so glad I didn't film it because mummy couldn't walk. <laughs> Literally, I was waddling. Um, but we've got a final full body one on Friday, but it was just legs today. I've come home um, for a little interval throughout this day. Um, and you know what? I've remembered, and this is your sign as well, you guys. Look at that, Stevie. Look at them. They're a mess. Clean your makeup brushes. So I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes before holiday. I haven't cleaned them in ages. Maybe that's why my skin's breaking out a bit. Because they do be carrying like lots of bacteria if you don't, right. Can you not go over here? Ooh. You stay there. Um, right, yeah, I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes and then I'm going to see Louise. This is an absolutely uh, no way saying before you go on holiday, get Botox. <laughs> but um, it's been a little while since I got my last set. And, we, and I've realized that it's, and this might resonate with some of you guys in terms of what you want from your lips. I think, I think for a while I thought filler was the way to get like, yes, make them bigger. But now I've got them like to the size that I want. It's like a little bit of like the shaping that I want help with. And Louise was like, oh, well, I think like Botox getting like a slight lip flip. Um, yes, a lip flip. Uh, is what I'm after. And normally you, you can sort of see results when you get it the first time, but it's always like the second time that you get like anything done really that you see the most results. Um, so I got that done like a while ago. So I'm gonna get my second one. I thought, why not get it done before I go on holiday and have like a lip flip for Mexico? <sighs> anyway, but I just thought that'd be fun to take you guys along with. Um, the look by Louise is uh, the only person that has ever touched my face in terms of filler, Botox, anything like that. I thought I would be open and honest about it. And then also I thought like it might be interesting for you guys to hear and see like what goes on. Um, so I'll take you along with me to that, but you guys don't really need to see me clean my brushes, but you know what will be satisfying? It's a good before and after. So these are the more before. Um, I just kind of use a little bit of oil and a little bit of dish soap, or actually I might have some brush 
cleaner like specific but that's a good one if you don't have any specific brush cleaner like a little bit of um, like olive oil for conditioning and a little bit of like dish soap for or like washing up liquid for like the sh it's basically like shampoo and conditioner essentially you 100% only need a tiny bit of oil otherwise you'll have a bit of like oily residue on your brushes but that's a really good at home like brush cleaner to do but yeah oh these are the more before and just like that oh, let's move that one out of the way they're all clean I actually ended up using this in the end uh, Melanie Mills, is it Melanie Mills? Yeah, uh, just like a brush soap. And also it said uh, love infused. And I was like, what does that mean? Look what I like, put what was in the middle of it. So is this is the rose quartz. So I mean, look at my pruny hands. Um, lovely, but yeah, she's gonna leave them all out to dry. Would also like to confirm, I don't take every single one of these brushes with me on holiday. I don't wear a huge amount of makeup on holiday. Um, only really in the evenings and I just take my favourite brushes but I just thought obviously let me clean them all it's been a while but right I'm going to have a shower now and get myself ready to go out because we're going to like I said uh, go to Louise so I want like a clean I want clean skin and then I'm pretty sure straight from Louise I am going to get my lashes done by Sarah love them and I've got like a picture in mind of how I want her to do them where is my phone so um at. Oh my god, my phone. I want them to look like this. And I need to remember, I like I don't like super full lashes, but I tend to like just twiddle and play with them like a little bit. So then they become like a little bit thinner. Um so if I get them thin to start with, it's like well sorry, when I say thin, I mean like not as full to start with, then they're never as full as I want them. Do you, do you know what I mean? So like I never always love them as soon as I get them done. I feel like everyone's like that with lashes, like, unless you obviously love really full lashes, but they, they, they look better after, like, a couple of days. Do you know what I mean? But anyway. What are you doing down there? Oh, you okay? Down by the recycling, he's been playing with that Starbucks, Starbucks bag. But anyway, right, uh, time to shower. I do want you to explain... Look, the gorgeous Louise. She's the reason I look like this. Um, the difference between filler in your lips and Botox in your lips. The Botox in the lips is just to relax the muscle. In doing so, what it, this muscle here, what what pulls your lip up and down. If we if we relax this, it turns the lip out. So it naturally lifts the lip up and gives more volume on the inside here. So you know we can get this where with filler. The problem is, is that. You know, you might always get the lift or you get some projection and with the Botox stops that. See, know. I think because when we like did the final like filler in my lips, yeah. we were like, that's that. And you yeah. even said no more. Mm -hmm. The shape is perfect. Yeah. There was still something that I wanted from it. Mm. But I think where people get confused mm. and why they keep adding more filler is because you think, oh, I want yeah. filler. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, guys. It's like yeah. Botox does the that's it. lifting without the that's it. That's projecting. It. Yeah. If you want the lift, but no volume. Yeah. Then you flip the lip. So we're doing Botox in my lips. Yes. Back in my jaw, I've not had it in my jaw for a long time. Uh, maybe what, a year? Just maybe, a but year. I mainly got that in the first place because I was grinding my teeth, mm. so it's mm. good for that. And it also mm. helps to like tighten a bit there. Yeah, it and a little bit in my brows to give me a little bit of a brow lift. But you won't see the results of that for like... Two weeks, but watch this space. Yeah. If I suddenly look snatched in two weeks, guys, that's why. Okay, right, just line up on the pillow for you. Big smile. And relax. And show scratch. This is a really emotional song to have Cool. I thought it was like in the shot. Guys, I'm so glad I didn't film that. <laughs> there and there with no numbing cream. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that's nice. Nobody needs to know. So I'm back in the car now. Um, only vlogged like a little bit of the needles because I know people don't really want to see that. It's more just like knowing what she was doing. So yeah, like I said, I only thought I was going to be getting Botox in my lips, but um, she was noticing when I talk. Guys, this is such like, um, n like nobody needs to get this done, okay? But um, she just knows me. And I feel like when you're in front of a camera a lot, you pick apart your appearance, which is why um, I feel like a lot of 
influencers and content creators are the ones that are like more getting stuff done although I say that and like I know loads of people that get stuff done that like aren't in front of a camera you just do it for you do you know what I mean but um she just noticed like when I speak um, my nose tip like dips down so she did a little bit there guys obviously with Botox you don't um need or have numbing cream because it's like such a small needle but fuck fuck my there and in obviously in the uh cupid's bow of your lip my eyes were watering but um yeah she did uh my brow like just here not like around my forehead or anything just here because she knows i like a little bit of a brow lift obviously like w when you like relax the muscle um which is all that botox does is relaxing your muscles or like no sorry like tightening the muscles so that's hopefully going to tighten a bit there and give a little bit of a lift um I then obviously got it in my jaw. Um, I mainly got that in the first place and get that because um, it helps with grinding your teeth, but it also, like, again, tightens the jaw area. And yeah, that was it. So just Botox here, 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 and here. Uh, so we'll see the results of that. Not instantly, obviously. You can see the, like, holes, though. Um, but yeah, just, like, as a better... Well, I say better. Um, alternative for filler girlies like if you think you know you want like your lips to maybe look like a little bit bigger but they're already naturally quite full um botox in the lip does loads like a lip flip um so yeah louise i hopefully explained that to you guys um but now i'm off to get my lashes done i'm gonna be like early but i think i'm gonna go to boots and get a few things and i'm starving so i'm gonna pick up some lunch as well before i lie down and probably like have a nap for a couple of hours right i'm just in the car waiting for my lash appointment i thought i'll show you what i got from Superdrug and boots because i'm actually gonna put it all in this so i needed another like square vibes like uh cosmetics case type thing they only have this like floral print but it's kind of cute i feel like i'm just gonna put my toiletries in there because i've got them for like makeup and stuff um i love using these they're like the andrex flushable toilet wipes they're just good for like the plane and you know just making sure that your ass and your vagina is completely squanky clean. um and they're like ph safe you know what i mean um obviously picked up two packets of Imodium so I don't shit myself. Sorry, someone just walked past. <laughs> so in case I like get the shits, which is apparently quite likely in Mexico with the ice, picked up a travel size hairspray and a little got to be glue for brows and ed like baby hair, like just slicking it back. I don't have any edges to lay. Um, so I'll just be using this to like slick it back. Or like sometimes it's nice to just style these little bits. But I don't, I wish, I love it when um, girls either with like wigs or their natural hair like have those baby hairs to lay. I just think, aren't we, like <laughs> boys just style their hair and we just have so many cool things that we can do with ours. I love it. Um, some like razors like this, just some travel ones. Um, some antibacterial hand wipes again for the plane. Um, I got a couple of pairs of lashes. These are from Pinky Goat. Look at these. They're cute. I know I'm about to get my lashes done, but you know, like, I don't know what's going to happen. There might be, like, a tidal wave that wipes out all of my lashes and I just need some, like, emergency ones. But fingers crossed that mine survive. Um, I got, like, a little mouthwash, a Insect Ease Bite Relief Spray because I've got some insect actual repellent at home. I got these because I'm specifically going to bring my own shampoo and conditioner so I just wanted to take like little travel size things and then I can just like recycle those at the end or keep them for another trip um mini toothpaste of course um what else did I get two more things oh yeah mini deodorant I love the men's deodorants they just last a lot longer and I feel like in Mexico I'm going to be sweating me fucking tits off uh, SPF for the lips and I got this. Is this new? Bondi Sands Self Tanning Face Mist. One Hour Express. Sure, I just got that to try. Um, so yeah, I can now save some room in this bag. <laughs> Zip it up so it's all in there. I can go back into my Superdrug and Boots bag. 
And that was the end of that. It's all in there. Lovely. Right, so it's now lash time. I've got to just move my car quickly. Um, so these are my little eyes before. And these are my lashes afterwards. Uh, she fucking killed it. Sarah Gregory makeup on Instagram. She's based in like Wilmslow, but <sighs> it's all getting a little bit real now. Like tomorrow's the last day of pedicure and my brows, I love my brow girl. Um, I'll take you guys along with me for that because I feel like a lot of you guys, uh, when I get my brows done, are like just are obsessed, just as obsessed with them as I am. Morning, look at my face. I, I used that spray last night. She's probably about to wax the tan off my face, so I'm going to look hilarious. But um, yeah, it's brow time now. I'm literally at Hope's Salon in Timperley, like Altrincham, mainly Beauty Box. I've definitely vlogged and shown you them before, but if you're new here, like these are my brows before. I'll vlog a little bit of the process as well, but I feel like she tints them and like laminates them, but she doesn't laminate them like really like drastically she just does them perfectly so yeah just thought i'd do another before and also the lashes this morning living Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of darker. No, I think that's fine. Yeah. So I don't know why my eyes are suddenly watering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boxing, yeah. I knew my tan was going to come off my face. <laughs> it shouldn't be too much. When I say, why do brows make such a difference? Like, they look so good, so, like, natural, um, yeah, obsessed with them. They make such a big difference, like, on a holiday, just, like, having your brows and your lashes done. Like, I could just wake up and go out like this, you know? Um, but, right, final beauty holiday prep, getting matching toes to match my nails, which I've never done before, as in, no, I've got matching toes to my nails, but never neon yellow toes um going to my faves at m1 guys i'd film more of this pedicure but <laughs> this is the like i'm literally on the last day of this tan like i'm gonna do a fresh coat but that looks hilarious <laughs> i tried to vlog in there that was pure chaos they were quite busy so i kept having to like shuffle seats so I couldn't really vlog, but all that matters is ignore the town on my feet. I mean, yeah, but they match. So that is it, you guys. That is my holiday prep done. I literally leave for London tomorrow. Have to drop Stevie off at Connor's um, to be with his little brother. Um, so he's gonna have a little vacation of his own as well. I'm literally like, this is the longest I'll have gone without him, like a full, like just over a week. I hope he doesn't forget me. You won't forget me, right? I feel like we've imprinted on each other. But yes, I will leave all of the plugs, you know, my beauty plugs down below for you guys. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna vlog in Mexico as well. I'll vlog like little bits here and there. Um, Cause like I said, it's not an influencer trip. It's like my friend's birthday, different kind of crowd, older crowd. So I don't want to be like holding a camera up in my face. And I've never been to Tulum before. So I really want to like just fully immerse myself in it. But make sure you're following me on Instagram and Probably like TikTok as well. I feel like I'll do like more, more things on there. But I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I low-key love these videos. Like, uh, why do you always want to go and see your boy? I do always know when I'm ending my vlogs. I'm going to miss you, my twin. Um, but yeah, I love these vlogs so much because, I don't know, I just love knowing people's beauty plugs. I love people's holiday glow-ups. I love getting inspo. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you in Mexico. I might be in Mexico right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put him down because that's probably quite uncomfortable for him. But that was that was a funny angle. But yeah, really hope you guys love this video. Any questions, shout me down below. See you in Mexico, everyone. Oh, I'm still loving my yellow nails. Um, yeah, love you all. Sarah.